Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to connect to SQL Server from another computer. And in this particular demo, we'll be learning uh, how to connect to SQL Server uh, using SQL Server Management Studio, Excel, ODBC, SQL CMD. There are multiple ways that you can connect uh, uh, to SQL Server. So, but in this demo, we'll be using these uh, uh, four ways to connect to SQL Server. And um, up here, this is my, currently I am on Dynamics AX. This is my host name. This is the computer that I'm connected right now. And this is the host name where the, my SQL Server reside. And this is my SQL Server instance. So using this particular host right here where I'm connected right now, I want to connect to uh, this host and SQL Server. So this SQL Server, I'm going to go ahead and connect. And I'm, I'll be using also, I want to show you that how to run application as run as different user. So uh, right here, I put down here. So we'll be using uh, this user when we will use run as option. And we'll be using uh, a SQL Server um, Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication to connect to SQL ser Server during this demo. So let's go ahead and start using SQL Server Management Studio and we'll be running SQL Server Management Studio run as run as uh, this particular um, user. Right now in, on this computer, I am connected as Dynamics AX Dev slash raza that is the user but that user doesn't have permission to go and uh, connect to sql server so basically if you don't have permission to connect to sql server none of the method that you will use on another computer or even from that same computer where sql server is installed uh, you will not be able to connect to sql server so you need to have permission to get into sql server wherever the SQL Server reside and whatever the SQL Server is, you need to have permission to get into that SQL Server. So let's go ahead and uh, use SQL Server Management Studio. In my case, I do have Windows 8. So Windows 8 sometimes gives you problems uh, with the, uh, if you wanted to run any application, basically you need to uh, press and hold shift key and right click on the application. In Windows 8, for some reason, it's not coming up as a, um, run as option like this so what i need to do is go open file location so this is my sql server management studio location so i'm going to go ahead and uh, press and hold shift key and right click as you can see once i did that i have an option run as di different user so i'm going to go ahead and run as different user which is cluster admin and you do need to have a password if you're going to run your application as different user this is my Windows user, by the way. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And it should open Management Studio for us. In order to connect using Management Studio, you need to have SQL Server host name. And if it is uh, uh, your uh, named instance, SQL Server named instance, then you can go ahead and provide host name backslash SQL Server instance name right here. If it is um, uh, SQL Server in default, uh, not named instance if it's a default instance you only need to provide the host name right here you don't need to provide the instance name because that your sql server is not a named instance it's a, a default instance so in my case it's a named instance so i'm going to go ahead and provide right here in connection string the um, instance name so right here, I'm using Windows Authentication. Um, when we'll use Excel, I'll show you how to use SQL Server Authentication. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, Windows Authentication, and this is the user I'm using, Cluster Admin. So we're gonna go ahead and click Connect. And as you can see, I'm connected to SQL Server. So this is basically how you use SQL Server um, uh, Management Studio to connect to SQL Server using Windows Authentication. Let me quickly show you if you wanted to use SQL Server Management Studio and wanted to use SQL Server Authentication, you need to click on here and click on SQL Server Authentication and provide your username and password right here and you'll be able to connect to uh, SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go ahead and cancel this. And we're gonna go ahead and use Excel. So right click, I'm going to go ahead and fire up Excel. So in order to use Excel, once Excel is open, you need to click on data, and you need to click on connections, and you need to click on add. 
basically if you already have the connection you can use this window right here but uh, we're going to go through the whole demo so we're gonna go ahead and click browse for more let's say that connection that I'm trying to connect to SQL Server is not in this list so we're going to go ahead and click for browse for more and click on new source once you click on new source a window will open and it will give you option what you can can what can uh, um, what kind of application that you can connect using Excel you can use Microsoft SQL Server and analysis services and so forth so we're gonna go ahead and use Microsoft SQL Server and server name would be right up here so in my case is TBS client backslash named instance would be SQL mirror if you have if you don't have named instance you can you only thing you need to provide is just the host name right up here and up here is is using uh, Windows authentication I'm going to show you that how to use a SQL server authentication so click on here use following username and password this is SQL server authentication in my case I do have an essay if you work with your uh, DBA and you have um, uh, username and password they will provide you you need to provide uh, put it right here click next and as you can see that uh, you will be able to see right now your uh, select database that contains the data you want to see you can click up here and go to any database that you would like to basically go up here and we're gonna go ahead and click master and go next and right here there are a few options using uh, uh, Excel to connect to SQL Server you can go ahead and save your password next time you will do that you don't have to put the password and you also can put in description that why you're connecting uh, to this particular SQL Server instance what it's gonna do for you and up here the default uh, friendly instance is uh, is going to be your uh, uh, host name instance name your database name and your table name if you don't want all this big name you can go ahead and say um, customer SQL that is my SQL server where I look to go and see data about the customers so we're gonna go ahead and click finish and as you can see that we're connected as I said that uh, if you let's go ahead and close Excel and open Excel again and we're going to go ahead and click on data at this time we're going to go ahead and use existing connection so we're gonna go ahead and click on existing connection and right here that connection that we saved last time we are it is right here and we're gonna go ahead and double click and all we need to do right here is click OK and it will bring all the data for us so this connection remember keep in mind that you can always modify this connection this connection is going to uh, give you uh, the table that you selected and you save that connection so this is how you use Excel to connect to SQL Server we're gonna go ahead and close this and now our next target is using ODBC so we're gonna go ahead and start and up here we're going to go ahead usually ODBC is an administrative tools so we're gonna go ahead and open these and as you can see ODBC database source 32 bit ODBC data source 64 bit if you create ODBC 34 bit uh, any application that cannot support 64 bit you can create ODBC connection 34 bit and that application can go ahead and use 32 bit and the uh, same with 64 bit if your application uh, can use 64 bit you can use ODBC 64 bit right here and uh, get your connection ready we're gonna go ahead and use 32 so we're gonna go ahead and right click on this and run as different user um, when you right click it wouldn't give you basically that option you need to press and hold shift key and then right click it will give you options so let's go ahead and run cluster admin click OK and after it opens up ODBC window you need to click on add and you need to select 
driver up here which is SQL server in this case SQL server finish and up here this is the friendly name that you wanted to uh, give it so MySQL I just I'm using just the name right here is where you need to give the proper name which is uh, if you have a default you just need to give the host name and if you have named instance uh, you can you have to provide all the connection string host name backslash named instance so let's do that in my case is TBS client is my host name backslash SQL mirror is my instance so click next up here you have uh, both options Windows authentication or you if you have a SQL server user you can uncheck this bar and click on this or you can go ahead and click client configuration and do that but uh, what we what we're up here you can get an option using SQL server uh, authentication and uh, Windows authentication we're going to go ahead and use Windows authentication click next and up here if you click right here default database if you wanted to use the default database uh, you can change the default database right here but I'm just going to leave it alone next finish and let's test the connection as you can see the connection is tested successfully so basically this is how you use ODBC connect uh, ODBC to connect to SQL server so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this ODBC window and next we're going to use SQL CMD right here so we're gonna go ahead and um, use SQL CMD so I'm going to go ahead and CMD and I'm going to go ahead and open file location so that I can run as a different user alright our um, we're gonna go ahead uh, SQL C uh, command line is open so we're gonna go ahead and use uh, SQL CMD and dash s then your um, host name in my case is TBS client backslash if if you have a, a SQL server um, named instance so we're gonna go ahead and uh, SQL mirror in my case and if you wanted to use a different user you can go ahead and uh, use the other uh, parameters provide uh, username and password we're gonna go ahead and click basically because I used it as a Windows authentication if you don't provide any username and password it is going to use your Windows authentication in my case it is tech brothers backslash cluster admin so let's go ahead and select asterisk from sys dot databases to see if it's working as you can see that uh, we got the information back so it's working so basically we used four methods to connect to SQL server from another computer and we used also we learned how to run application as run as how to use um, SQL Server authenticated uh, authentication uh, basically in different applications and uh, how to use SQL Server account instead of a Windows account. I hope this video helps.